Hi, I'm Danielle. I do too much. I like hair, talking, cosplay, music, art, and stuff. Guess whose hard drive crashed? Well, as you know, I'm doing Vlogmas, and uh, four videos were on that hard drive. So y'all gonna get some thirst trap tales today. I've not had a lot of boyfriends in my life, and um, it shows. This story is about what happens when you're bored and you start dating someone out of boredom. I'm not proud. We're gonna call him Ham Sandwich. <laughs> and <laughs> I was at a Halloween party. Now, here's what happened. I was looking cute because I love Halloween <laughs> and uh, I was being Bumblebee, the the superhero, but no one knew that. So everyone thought I was just a bumblebee, which is also fair. <laughs> I roll up and it's lit. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't see this guy. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't see him. <laughs> it's really not my type. Um, but he saw me. So move on to the dance floor. We're all tearing it up on the dance floor. And I, at that time, uh, not so much now, I'm lying, I went out dancing last weekend. <laughs> I love dancing and um, I was tearing it up. I, oh, I don't know how to be appropriate on a dance floor. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> and I am jigging. And apparently I caught this fellow's eyes. So this guy approaches me on the dance floor which is not something that happens often. I'm told I'm very intimidating on the dance floor. I'm like, I'm here to get down. I turn around to this giant man, huge. And it's not like he's tall huge. He's like tall and beefy. It's like impressive. It's like six, four and just built like a tank. And that is usually not my type, but... Um, he taps me on the shoulder, he's like, hey, this is Ham Sandwich. <laughs> and he is. And at the time, I had been looking for a boy. This was right after Ace. Really hoping that would have worked out. If you don't know who Ace is, check out this video. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> if you enjoy my pain. But this was right after Ace. He had done the thing that I mentioned in that video maybe a month before this. So I'm pretty much over it or I've just like I've let go. So I'm just looking at him like Can you bench press me? And he was like, yeah, probably. Uh and he actually did. <laughs> And we dance for a little bit and I'm very surprised he doesn't have a lot of rhythm but he his enthusiasm was noted and appreciated I was an art major um, in school so you can imagine the uh, the uh, musculature or rather lack thereof I had become accustomed to so I'm just looking at this dude as a creepy art student just so interesting your biceps this is so Oh, your trapezius is, I can see them through your leather jacket. This is so interesting. Oh, look at those quads. Those quads seem to be bursting forth from your gins. It's so interesting. Oh. So I'm creeping on this dude because, um, I mean, first of all, he's bold. Secondly, he wants to dance. <laughs> he's not great at it, but he wants to, which is half the battle. Because I don't like beefy guys, but... When it comes to Jason Momoa, my Jason, and Captain America, all bets are off. So I'm freaking dancing with this guy, I've been creeping on him, and we kind of start to have that club level conversation. What's your name? Daniel! What? Daniel! Like that is, it's a lot of fun. He just starts flirting immediately, and I'm like, Little town in a quiet village. Little mouse never hit on before. So yeah, he starts hitting on me, which never happens, by the way. I like your costume. 
and I'm like, what? And he drags me off the dance floor and we start talking. And he's like, yeah, I like your costume. I've never seen you around. Like, where are you from? Like, you don't ask the kind of questions unless you're interested. Like, I know how it goes. Like, I'm not really good at flirting, but I recognize it, you know? Like, I'm not good at taxes, but I know what taxes look like. This guy is totally hitting on me, and I don't even, I just, look, I am so thirsty at this point in my life, but I don't even know what to do when a guy actually approaches me. Like, I'm that kind of person. So I learned more about Ham Sandwich, and I'm still not really sure about him. For some reason, like, I'm suspicious of him. Like, he's like too forward, too friendly, like too flirtatious. He seems like he might be kind of a playboy type because he's not only is he muscular, he's also like got this boyish charm to him. Like, he's a little mischief maker. And then you're like, I know better, but he is cute though. I mean, maybe we should trust him. Maybe we should be stupid right now. Charisma. He's got crazy charisma. He's like a magnet. And his smile is so like um devious. It was so cute. I was like, he says, we should keep in touch. And I'm like, yeah. Do you have Facebook? Cause I kinda I still want to do a background check on him. You know what I mean? Literally, he does this. <sighs> Give me your number. Five 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 nine two two one two three four. <laughs> Next day. Hey. Smiley face with wink. At this point, I'm so bewildered. I'm so used to being the chaser, the aggressor, the suitor. I didn't know what to do with myself for weeks. Okay, for week. <laughs> My friend Michelle and I would just like strategize on how to properly text him back. And all the while, I'm just like, this dude, like, he's not my type. Like, his personality, you could tell that he was a devious person. Whenever I texted him, he would text me back almost immediately. And I was like, what? And then after a couple, like maybe a few days of texting, he asked me out over the phone because he called me huh? and then on one of our dates he asked me to be his girlfriend what? and all of a sudden I had a boyfriend after not having a boyfriend for like two years what how did I get here and can I have a map for next time if you have a significant other and you confused you shouldn't have a significant other. I would meet new people and they'd be like, Oh, this is my boyfriend. Do you have a boyfriend? And I'd be like, Yes. Didn't really like his personality. He was very childish. He'd just gotten by on his looks. All of these things were pointing me towards, I don't really like this guy. Not like that. I just like what he looks like. <laughs> Every time I was like, I don't really, I don't know if I really like him. To myself, I would just look at him. I would just look at a picture I had of him and just be like, I mean, love grows, right? Long story short, the reason we broke up was because he cheated on me. So, he had a female friend. This female friend was very clearly in love with him, or in lust with him. She, ridden with guilt, came to me one day when we were at an anime convention and just blurted it out. Ham Sandwich kissed me. Another reason you be in a shallow Shannon is when someone says, your boyfriend is cheating on you and you're like, oh no. So yeah, I um, called him later that night and I was like, actually, I used a really cheesy line to break up with him. You know the good girls go if you take too long. And hung up on him. And that's how we broke up. Mm -hmm. I hope you enjoyed um, my thirst rap tale. And I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Star Puppy. Away! Don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you enjoyed the video.